Good day everyone, you welcome back to the channel. This is Yuglo Fashion and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'll be showing you how to make this bubu kaftan gown with cut together sleeve. So please stay tuned to the end and enjoy the tutorial. It's well detailed, it's beginner friendly. So if you benefit anything from this tutorial, please subscribe if you haven't and like and share as well. Thank you very much. This is the measurement I'll be working with. So I'll put that aside. And also I'll be making use of this Ankara fabric and the organza fabric as well. Now to the business of the day, the kaftan bubu gal. So I'll be using this organza, it's light, you can see. So at first I folded it into two, then later fold into four. Just ensure the, they are equal parts, they have equal parts. So I made use of two yards of the organza. But if you are doing yours, this depends on how you want the sleeve to the length you want the sleeve to be so you can make use of two and a half and also depends on your size now after folding i had to change the direction so i ensure that the two folded parts are facing my direction and also i went ahead to measure the nipple points the under busts i did not bother to measure the half length because it's not going to be useful in this tutorial i also measured the hip length that's from shoulder to hip length and also the gown length having done with all of that the next thing is to measure the total circumference so first of all the total circumference of the nipple point is 45 and as usual we i will divide it by four because for everybody's measurements you divide by four aside from the shoulder so now 45 divided by for whatever I have, I marked it at the nipple point. Also at the under bust, I divided the circumference of the under bust by four as well. So I marked the two and connected them together. I also marked the, I divided the circumference of the hip by four and connected the three now together. So no need of the on uh, on half length measurements. So having done with that, whatever I have at the hip, I transfer it to the M line. So now the circumference of the hip is forty eight divided by four. That's twelve. So the twelve inches I transferred it to the M line. And I use my ruler to connect that. So I went ahead to add one inch for ease and one inch for allowance which makes it two inches i connected the two inches as well together so starting from the nipple point to the m line so i added two two inches allowance like i said earlier one inch for ease and one inch for normal allowance so please I'll still trim off the M line because the M is somehow rough. So I'll trim that off. That will be later. So having done with all the measurements, the next thing is to move back to the shoulder and measure at this side 2.5. So this will help the sleeve to fall well and it will be able to relax well. Then to the neckline, I measure three inches, three inches by one. So the reason for the one inch is because for now I'm cutting both front and back together, but later I will still reshape the neckline of the front. But because the two are still together, I have to use the back measurement. So what I'll do now is just to slant the 2.5 at the shoulder to the neckline. And 
and I cut that out. So the next thing is to measure the sleeve. So for the sleeve now, at the under bust, I came down with just two inches, then shape it back to the under bust with my slant shape. You can see I rolled it slant, then I cut everything out. Sorry, you know how organza is, it's just shaking on the table so i had to rearrange it back so the next thing now is to measure where the slit is going to start from so for that i measure from the shoulder to 36 inches this is optional if you want yours to be below that or above that why not like i said it is optional and I notched that part so that's where the slits will end also I opened up the joint part I have at the side of the sleeve now I separated the I separate the front from the back so I'll be working on the front bodies now so for the front, like I said earlier, I said I will still remeasure the neckline. Now I used 2.5 for the neckline. You remember initially for the for the back and the front I used one. Now that is only front, I measured 2.5. So after the 2.5 again, I measured six inches. So which means from shoulder now I measure six inches. You know initially I first measure 2.5 now i measured six inches so because of the o should i call it o at the front i had to slant another measurement to this uh, to the six inches so after the two inches i just measure half inch then slant it back to the six inches so this is the pattern that's the side i will be using for the design so i've cut that out and for this I used the measurements of the under bust from shoulder to under bust that's 15 inches then I added one inch to it to make 16 inches that's for my folding the M and also joining the shoulder so for the circumference I used the circumference of the shoulder the normal circumference of the shoulder this time around so the circumference of the shoulder is 16 inches which means i used eight inches you know uh, shoulder is usually divided by two not by four so i used eight for the width then 16 inches for the length remember the 16 inches is additional additional 15 inches plus one to make the 16 inches then i just i just marked out the eight inches for the shoulder from that point to the 16 inches now the next thing is to cough out you know how the shape of the akara is on the organza so for that I measured 2.5 inches then I slant it back I just use a cuff shape to link it up to the middle just follow my explanation it's very easy and I notch the middle this will help me in placing it on the organza. So you can see the design now. So I pick back the front bodies and place it on the Ankara fabric. I first shape out the midu. To 
close to the cleavage then also the normal neckline and the edge the shoulder rather so this is what we have at the end of everything now according to the style there is belts all this no small belts so for that i used the i folded the orgasm into two i marked the middle then from that middle i just marked the nipple to nipple circumference and that's where i mark i used my chalk to mark so it's a bit lower than the under bust so it's directly two inches after the under bust so after having done with that I went to my machine to stitch everything together so first of all the middle close to the cleavage that's the part i'll be sewing first so i'll be stitching the wrong side the right side together this time around the right side of the ankara fabric and the right side of the organza fabric you know organza doesn't have the right and the wrong side but you, sh you just have to use one side now after doing that that's just the cleavage side after doing that i went ahead to iron it then back to the neckline so if you look at it closely you see that this one is wrong side facing the wrong side the first one i used the right side to face the right side then stitch the two together that stitching i turned it to the to the right side then for the edges i used my bias tape to tape it round you can also iron this together you can iron like half half inch inside so that you won't be it won't stress you while stitching but i prefer using my bias because it's more easier for me so i first stitch the shoulder together then wait i had to stitch the side where the bias is you see it's very easy to just fold it inside and stitch on it no need of ironing first so after this now i can go ahead to iron Now I'm done stitching the sides. The next thing is to stitch the front and the back bodies together. So I'll be doing that by stitching the shoulders at first. So this is the shoulder of both front bodies and the back bodies. I'm done with that the next thing is to fix the collar so for the collar i measured the circumference of the neckline which is 16 inches and i added one inch for m which now which now makes it sorry i added one inch for allowance which makes it 17 and for the length i used 4.5 inches So I cut two of this. Then at the middle, I folded it into two. At the middle, I marked half inch. Now slant it back to the edge of the collar. Sorry, the chalk is not really showing on it. But I think you can still see it well. Then I went ahead to cut it out. So the 4.5 is divided into two. Please don't get me wrong. So dividing it into two, I have like 2.25 here. That's why I said I have I cut into two. It's not as if I cut two point uh, 4.5 into two. It is the 4.5 that I divided into two. Please don't get it's wrong then the next thing to do is to first stitch 
the color together. I added my interface to the fabric. Now I'm done stitching the color together. So the next thing is to iron it, but before I do that, I folded half inch and stitch on it. So like I do say, you can also use your iron to do this, but I will just be stitching on it. So after stitching on it, I went ahead to iron it. I went ahead to iron the collar. So now, like I said earlier, I measured the circumference of the bubu kaftan gown. Then I'll be fixing the collar on my bubu kaftan now. So to start with, I left, you know, I said I added one inch allowance to it. So I left half on this side and half on the other side. So for the half, after the half, I started stitching. So I, I first stitch on the wrong side of the fabric of the, of the gown. And after stitching, I stitch the collar together this way, then turn it to the right side. Now I'll top stitch it on the right side now. That's the half inch I stitched in the other side. So I'll be top stitching it on the neckline of my bubu kaftan gown. So we are done now with the collar. You can see how neat and lovely it is. The next thing now is to stitch the front and back measurements together. After, sorry, before stitching the measurement together, I went ahead to stitch the belt. So I want it a bit bigger than the one in the thumbnail. So I used three inches and I stitched half in. So to give me one inch, now you know it's on fold. Then at the edge, I made it slant this way. And also turn it's to the right side so where i marked before you know it's a, it's not really showing so i have to remeasure like i said i measured the nipple to nipple circumference that's at the middle from the middle i measured the nipple to nipple circumference then I ensure that it's two inches after the Ankara fabric. Then I stitch on that part. So you can see the two belts. And I went ahead to stitch the sides together. So like, like I do say, for this style, the only measurement I need to stitch inside is the one inch. The one, you know, it was two inches I had it. The first one inch is for ease. So the usual one inch, which is for the allowance, that's the part I stitch. Now, you know, the, the uh, bubu gown is not too firm. It's not really firm. So I need ease allowance for that. Now, after doing that, the next thing is to stitch, to fold the sleeve. So to do that, you fold it once, then you fold again. 
that is you are folding it twice you can see the way i'm doing mine it's very easy now i'm done stitching and i've also stitched the sides as well now for where the slit is you know when i stitched the side i stopped where the slit is so now for the stitch i've also stitched i folded the m line for the stitch i also folded it twice fold at first then fold again so you can see it here it's very easy to do it's not difficult at all now this is our bubble kaftan with cut together sleeve you can see how lovely the style is so please if this tutorial has done you any good like and share and subscribe as well and if you have any question feel free to ask thank you so much for watching this video to the end bye